there are certain things that's raking my damn nerves. And tops at the list is Sean Payton. He's getting on my last damn nerves. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. Let's be very, very clear. The Saints got robbed because that was a ridiculous no call. It should have been called. There was a helmet to helmet hit that was missed. There is no doubt about it. Obviously, a non-call isn't necessarily reviewable, and that plays a role in it, so the thing should be modified. We all get that. And we understand that the Saints have been victims. We get that. We've heard it from Michael Thomas. We've heard it from Drew Brees. We've heard it from a bevy of players. But I don't want to hear from Sean Payton's behind. I don't want to hear from him at all. And let me tell you why I don't want to hear from Sean Payton, the coach of the New Orleans Saints, because he's not being completely forthcoming. Let's be clear about something here. Did y'all know that Sean Payton became a member of the NFL's competition committee as of September of 2017? When we look at these officials that had to be at this game, and I got the names right here. Let me ask you a question. You think that Sean Payton didn't know who the officials were going to be before this game? Do you think that Sean Payton didn't know the rules before this game? Of course he did. Of course he did. Now, mistakes happen, and we get that, and we understand that he has credence for his argument. But how he is electing to handle this as a leader has geared the attention towards Roger Goodell. Roger Goodell's the commissioner. He's not the NFL official. He's not the official that was on the field that made the wrong call. He's the commissioner. What is he supposed to do? Say, okay, the outcome doesn't count. Y'all get back on the field and play the last two minutes over? What the hell is he supposed to do? There's no, listen, it would have been nice if Roger Goodell had come out immediately and said it was a bad call or whatever. But Sean Payton in a post-game conference acknowledged that he had spoken to the NFL, that they had admitted their mistakes, and I don't recall the commissioner or the league office immediately coming out any other time right. and talking about these things. All I'm saying is this. Nobody is, 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 is denying that Sean Payton and the Saints got robbed. But right now what is happening is that you're trying to delegitimize this Super Bowl 53. And that's unforgivable for Sean Payton to do. You're trying to act like because you're supposed to be here, hey, y'all, it don't matter that the Rams are playing the Patriots. It was supposed to be the Saints against the Patriots. So don't take the Super Bowl seriously. Damn that. Your pass the ball. I got the numbers right here. To, to, listen, a run and play, a, I'm sorry, an incomplete pass. You got first and 10 at the 13-yard line. There's an incomplete pass that breathes through. Did y'all know that after Drew breeze through that incomplete pass Sean Payton called the timeout yeah he stopped the clock so you he he is not flawless in all of this Look, there's 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 and plenty. that's the problem I here. agree with you Sean Payton should stop complaining although eating Jenny's ice cream and watching Netflix just sounds like I don't know like a Tuesday or a Wednesday I don't know you have to, you have to lose a championship game for that to be the the, the, the thing like you do a great Saturday night <laughs> to yeah, me. It sounds like a great Saturday night exactly but I agree you should stop complaining there was a face mask the, the refs missed on the other side of the field in the previous possession for the Rams it was blatant I saw it that didn't get called they had no problem moving on from that so yes he's drawing too much attention to it and so Goodell now has to answer questions that you know like any kind of kind of negative focus on the Super Bowl and the Saints are keeping that alive and Sean Payton's keeping that alive and they shouldn't I agree however the way Goodell handles that is significant now I'm I, I would give him the benefit of the doubt that he misspoke he did speak to a lot of people maybe players on the Saints possibly weren't among the group and he just kind of threw it out there in the flow of talking wasn't really thinking about it but in that case now address that because it's become but, a story. But, and so often with the NFL, there's a sense that, they're, that, that the way they handle the aftermath of controversies becomes bigger than the controversy yeah, but, 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 itself. But, 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 but hold, up, but hold up, Max. Here's the part that you're missing. You're trying to tell me that Sean Payton going off like this, there isn't mm -hmm. some residue from 2013 when you were, or 2012, 2013, when you were suspended for the entire season for Bounty Gate, when you lied, when you sat up there and tried to go. Remember, look, what I'm but trying to say. Stephen A., that doesn't, hold that, hold he's on, not wait, 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 I'm getting to your point. I don't know if we should bring up I, any gates no, in this Super Bowl. No, let me, no, no, no. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And the reason why we can is because the Flake Gate, Spy Gate don't have a damn thing to do with 2019. In the case of Sean Payton, the reason why Bounty Gate is relevant is because he is perfect. Personally attacking the commissioner of the National Football League. But what now, does that have to, to do? Because it could be personal. No, no, no but what it does that have to do with Goodell's response? The issue right now is not 
Peyton, I, I agree with you. Peyton, let it go. You got breaks too in that game. You lost the game on, a, on an egregious missed call. It happens. Move on. This is still a story. He is not responsible, however, for Goodell's answers to the media about what he's done. If Goodell says he did Time something, out. and then people say, hey, there's no evidence Time, Time, he did this it. This from you, who said, who said months ago and many other times, Goodell is under no obligation to answer to the media. Now he is. Because he made a claim that people are now saying is not true. Ma Max, as a reporter, there are t I have spoken to players and executives, and they will sit in front of the camera and lie through their teeth. I never spoke to him, and I spoke to them 20 minutes ago, but I don't say anything. The fact of the matter is, is that it's none of our business who specifically Roger Goodell spoke to. In the end, that does not change the outcome. And I'm not saying Sean Payton is wrong. He's not wrong for how he feels. But to be a leader of a franchise, for this to be a a week and a half later for this to be Super Bowl week and you trying to delegitimize the Super Bowl because you are caught up in your feelings is unforgivable just, and it's reprehensible. Just it ain't clear. right. Just, He's not right. Not the players. I'm talking about Sean Payton. Right. He's I, not right. Yeah, I don't argue with you about Sean Payton. I said it right after the game. As I said, face mask wasn't called. What's the difference? That could decide the game too. Stop it. Is your position that Goodell shouldn't get out in front of this story and just no, say what he no, meant? No, no, I've been on the record stating that Goodell should have spoken up earlier. My issue is let's stop acting like whether he does or doesn't really impacts anything. It's over. Sean Payton is trying to act like somehow, some way, Goodell acknowledging it publicly no, is going to change things. It is not. That